Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary, and I'm here with a special edition of Life After Lockup, Word on the Street. Now, you guys have all seen the commercial. Life After Lockup returns February 24th. And you guys all seen the cast members that are returning in the commercial. But there are nine couples there are some cast members missing from that commercial. And of course, you know, I have the tea, I have the birdies, and I have the connections. So let's jump right in to who's returning, who's not returning, and some storylines for the season. So let's jump right in, everyone. So first of all, we have some returning couples from this season of Love After Lockup, Derek and Monique, the first one. And, you know, we have them here looking like a happy couple. But next season, the two of them will be trying to navigate a long distance relationship. And, you know, their family on both sides will continue, continue to meddle and test their relationship. And, you know, that's no surprise between his sisters and her sister. No surprise that meddling families will test this relationship. And Derek's wandering eye is going to come into play next, next season. And Monique goes on a weight loss journey, which personally, I'm happy to see that Monique will be going on a weight loss journey, if not for anyone, for herself and her health. So good for you, Monique. Moving on, we have the perfect blended family, Justine and Michael. We follow their journey during love during lockup, love after lockup. So it's only natural that they will be returning to love after lockup. But trying to be the perfect blended family is getting to Michael. I have a little spoiler for you guys. Justine quits her job. Justine is no longer working. So all the money responsibilities coming crashing down on him. And, you know, the weight is on Michael to get his rap career and his sneaker career off the ground. So let's see how this all unfolds next season. Then we have Cam and Arius. And we saw them get married this last episode on Friday. And, you know, it made my heart feel all warm inside. I like these two. These two are my favorite couple this season. And they jumped into a serious relationship from the get-go. You have to admit, they jumped into it pretty quickly. And now, next season, with Lena in the picture... And his sisters, you know, his his sisters came in, you know, kind of hot at the tuxedo shop. So we could imagine what's going to happen next season. Um, will this couple get the family support that they need or um, will it all come crashing down? Dun, dun, dun. And finally, the last couple returning from this season of Love After Lockup, we have Nathan and Skylar. Now, from the moment Skylar was, re was released from prison, Nathan was there. Nathan was there with, you know, the grandmother's quarter's house, um, with the engagement ring. As you can see from Skylar's uh, Facebook, they are engaged. And Nathan was there. You know, he had a flip out at dinner at their first date, but you know, he was there. But, you know, it's clear that this was not gonna be an easy road for them. The two of them are felons, the two of them have drug, you know, addictions. And they're, you know, in particular, Skylar's family was hesitant about their relationship. Skylar's family, her mom is worried, you know, that he may trigger her. So now that they've been together for a few months, would their relationship sink? or sore. Let's see. Now, we have couples from 
this season of Love After Lockup that are returning. And of course, we have couples from last season of Love After Lockup that are returning. Who's returning? Let's see. Starting off, Brittany and Marcelino. Yes, Brittany and Marcelino are returning. They're not in the commercial, but I have confirmation from a very reliable connection. They are returning. So last time we saw Brittany and Marcelino, they were leaving their Las Vegas life behind to start anew in Florida. With their kids by their side and their family no longer nearby, how will they adjust? Will the move to Florida help save their marriage? Or will they find themselves fighting to save their relation to make their relationship work once again? What do you guys think? Will this finally, will they finally work things out and wrap up their storyline and have closure for good? Drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think. And then we have Lindsay and Blaine. Now, go check out if you haven't seen the super commercial, the super teaser. Go check out wordonthestreetreality.com. I put it in there and you will see Lindsay looking really hot in a love scene pulling Blaine's pants off and she looks down and she's like, what did you do? And she starts beating him with a pillow. And there is a lot of speculation online what she discovered. Well, maybe this will give you a little insight. Lindsay wonders if she made the right choice with Blaine when Blaine re reveals legal issues from his past, have him in depth with fines, and warrants along with double digit prison time on the horizon. Blaine, what did you do? As Blaine turns to God, Lindsay reconnects with an old halfway house friend for support. Lindsay continues to nurture her relationship with her teenage daughter, Miley Grace, to ensure that Miley doesn't make the same mistakes that she has. Good for you, Lindsay. And as you can see here, Lindsay is also ensuring that she continues her, ed her education. Good for you, Lindsay. And I think that Lindsay might have discovered an ankle bracelet when she pulled off Blaine's pants. Just guessing. But Blaine, what did you do? And then moving on to another couple that's returning from this season, Sean and Sarah. And we have secrets in the marriage arrive as the couple both navigate relationships with their exes. I guess Destiny is returning once again and we'll see an appearance from Kelly. With Sean and Sarah juggling the pressures of pressures of life with a newborn. And Addie is the spitting image of Sean, if I may say so myself. Sarah decides to get breast augmentation surgery. Good for you, Sarah. You got yourself some boobies. Yay for Sarah and her boobies. However, Sean starts to worry that her new body may get the attention of other admirers. You need to worry, Sean. Sarah got herself some new boobies. And we have Hopper and Amber, Amber returning. Now, by the way, if you guys have been watching my channel, this is the news to you. I revealed about a month ago most of this cast and the date. But Amber and Puppy are returning as well. And Puppy helps her fiance through his various legal issues. As we seen when we left off last season, Eric was still not divorced from his wife. And I can imagine what other various legal issues Eric has um, accumulated since we last saw him. 
So, but Eric is still acting suspicious because suspicious is Eric's middle name. So as Puppy always does, she leans on Amber for emotional support. And because Amber is the good friend that she is, Amber is always there. But Amber's boyfriend refuses to accept Puppy. And he basically, you know, he starts to force Amber to make a choice between him and her best friend. And we're going to see how this turns out. And then we have... Taylor and Chance. After starting a successful construction career, Chance is providing for Taylor and her daughters. But as bills pile up and Chance digs himself deeper into depth, like I predicted he would with his credit score, Taylor continues to have doubts about marrying him, which she should if he is not financially responsible with his credit score, like I predicted he would be. When Chance starts at, and when Chance acts sus suspicious, Taylor sus stumbles upon a shocking secret, dun, 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 that Chance has been keeping from her. With Taylor and Chance welcoming their newborn, will the new baby add more financial pressure on Chance? Well, from the commercial, we can see that Taylor decides to set fire to some of Chance's shit, which I totally agree with if he's keeping secrets from her. But Chance, in all seriousness, didn't we have this conversation months ago about you and credit? I mean, come on, dude, please listen to this old lady. Been there, done that. Financial responsibility. Jeez. I don't know, guys. Drop me a comment. And let me know what you think about this new season. I am personally crying tears of joy. I am so happy. Nine couples. This seems to be like a jam-packed season. If you haven't seen the commercial already, go check out wordonthestreetreality.com. I did an article the commercials in the article. Go check it out. Thank you so much for watching me. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you don't already. Share my video with a friend. And don't forget, Brianna and I will be on tonight, Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Uh, West Coast time, recapping Love After Lockup. Thank you so much. Bye.